We have team weather coverage with crews all over town. Nine Your Side's Whitney Clark is live in the northwest side. Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen is tracking our conditions in studio. But first, let's head out to Rio Rico where Ricky Mitchell is live with all the road closures to the south. Ricky. Stella, I'm on Pendleton Road at the Sonoida Creek where it has been flowing like this for the last five hours. The Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Department closed the road about one this afternoon when rain gauges were reading close to two inches of rain in the area. But according to the Santa Cruz County Flood Control District, some gauges are showing close to three inches of rain. If you look down here, this is the debris line showing how high the water got today. And the water is barely, I mean, it's getting up there. It has it's not quite touching it, so it is receding a little bit, but it's still very close to that debris line. Now this is a major road for residents out here. Luckily though, it is not trapping anyone on either side. It's mostly just a major inconvenience because people have to go all the way around to get past this road closure and they are expecting this to be closed like this through the evening and that's because as you can see it's still flowing very strong and if they get any more rain near Patagonia, it's going to continue flowing like this. We are told that sometimes this stays closed for even close to two weeks because it just does not let up and they have to be on the safe side. Now this is has all also been the site of some major swift water rescues in the past. Luckily today, everyone has turned around at the road barriers and no one has tried to cross it. Reporting live from Rio Rico, I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGA 9 on your side. Thanks, Ricky.